And we're almost done. And there we go. And we'll mute that so we don't feed back. And we're on the air. Hey. Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, um, where we play new games on classic consoles. I'm James, and... I'm Aralyn. I'm going to be the, the map <laughs> dealer today. That's the plan. The map drawer. And we're going to be playing uh, Anguna today. There we go. I don't know nothing about <laughs> about. It. I was supposed to do research, and I Were you? I didn't. I was. <laughs> Either way, it's fine. <laughs> I find well, if you do a lot of research, that's good because you know a lot about it. And if you don't do a lot of research, it's a discovery. It's, it's magical. Funny. Although everything's I, new. Although I played so many RPGs, the RPG is my favorite genre. So I feel like I'm like way more in my element. You've this got week a good than background. Yeah. Oh, good. good and I, good. I used to work as a DM. Like I, I, I DM'd oh. like three campaigns, and I've also That's like good background. Played man. most RPGs that are online. So this is like my world, man. Like oh, perfect, stuff. perfect. And this is a really good RPG. For the 2600. Mm -hmm. I have to qualify that. <laughs> it does have its limitations. Um, but the, the, hello, Sudanator. Welcome. Hey, and um, But they've been able to make it work with one button, wow. which, which really impressed me. One button and one switch. But the switch, technically, you could do the game without the switch on there. Okay. Um, but we, we will be going back and forth. The switch um, puts you over to like your information screen. Yeah. Of what you have, like your inventory, the keys you have for the doors, the uh, whether you have a bow, an upgraded knife, um, the, a mini map as well, has all that stuff. Okay. Really, really well done. Was this based off of a, uh, a game before it? Because I did Google it, and it seems to me that there was a game it, that was... It was, actually. I just kind of looked that up today because I was glancing through things, just doing a tiny bit of research. Um, it was actually originally made for the Game Boy Advance. Wow. And okay. it looks like a fun game. And it looks like they did a really good translation of it. Uh, I can't really blow this up, but... Here, I'll... Uh... Oh, yeah, I can. So... Let's fast forward a little bit. So there, people can't see this, but uh, okay. <laughs> but this is what what we're watching is actually, the actual original game. I'll do Wait it a second. if you can. Uh, I can show them this. Let's see. Oh, there you go. There we go. So there is. Um, it's very very similar to this. Um, you're fighting these slimes. I did a good translation of slimes into the 2600 game. Um, and it's got keys, just like that. Um, let's switch back. It looks a lot like Zelda. It yeah, looks... everything's going to be compared to Zelda, yeah. of course, on, on a 2D overhead, maybe three-quarter view um, RPGs. Um, even, but even like when I was with these maps and stuff, like going into rooms and having certain things and some things yeah, need keys. That's and... true. It's got a single screen room to room type, like some are scrolling. It's, it's a little bit hard to scroll on the 2600 horizontally. Yeah. Vertically, no problem. It can scroll all day long, line by line. But it, it's very hard to scroll horizontally. It has to do in four chunks of four pixels so people have pulled it off pretty successfully but they usually avoid it okay if they can hello lord Monkus. uh he says this should be interesting to see dragon stomper is a pretty impressive for rpg on the 2600 i have not played that one um, oh. i'll have to take a look at that i want to see how it compares to that um yeah i'll have to take a look to compare myself i know this one very well yeah and he obviously knows dragon and Stopper you said this is well. the third episode that you've been working on this one yeah well, i mean this is like uh <laughs> yeah how much... show them the this is the map uh let me make sure that that's legible oh god <laughs> yeah working backwards on a camera there we go difficult. give me a sec let me actually do this properly so this is what i've been able to map um there's the key on the on your left hand side of what everything means and where all the items are. Okay, then we got I'm tilting properly oh, now. There you go. That's good. And so I've pretty much mapped the whole overview, the whole um, land, which is that. And uh, then we're gonna go into the Goblin King's Lair, which was in the top left hand side of the screen. 
Um, because I've I've been to every room on that map that we have right now, and I pretty ha much have full arrows and full health, so I'm ready You're to go. Ready in. to go. Yeah. Um, I have some uh, stuff to say. Oh, like I said last time, I will I'll be at the Portland Retro Gaming Expo in October. Um, and I will be doing some interviews for this show uh, while I'm there. I'm going to be interviewing programmers and uh, homebrew programmers and distributors. So people that make these type of games. And so far I'll be interviewing Al Yaruso. Uh, he's the guy who runs Atari Age. Oh, wow. Where I get almost all my games, like that big shelf up above us, <laughs> full of games. I've given lots of money over to him. Um, and also um, the huge game developer... John Champo, wow. whose name is Johnny WC in the Atari Age forums, uh, from Champ Games. He's the guy who did Mappy. Yeah, which we played last we play. week. I was yep. just like, okay, I recognize that name from yep. somewhere. Uh, Mappy, Conquest of Mars, Ladybug, and Scramble. And he's also going to be uh, sending me over his new game. Oh. Unreleased. We'll get first previews on this show of his new game. I so understand why you made this show now. <laughs> <laughs> you get the you get the brand new releases firsthand. It's very exciting. Um, so if you're a developer or know some developers that are going to Portland Retro Gaming Expo, just uh, get them in touch with me through one of my um, social media pages, or they can email me directly, James at zeropagehomebrew.com. Um, because I'd love to talk to them about uh, games they've made, games that are upcoming, and generally about the homebrew scene and how it is and, Absolutely. you know, how they got into it and all those, you know, kind of questions. Um, and also, I just released a new video on my YouTube page. It's not a streaming video. And I, I reviewed these two books, uh, the Atari 2600 Homebrew Companion Volume 1 by Brian Mathern. Mm -hmm. Uh, who is, um, oh, now I've forgotten his name. It totally escaped me. Um, who joins us every once in a while uh, in here. Something foot? Arena foot. Yeah, um, yeah. Arena foot in, uh, in the chat once in a while. And also reviewed Stella Programmer's Guide uh, by Stephen Wright, who was made by Dion Olsthorn, who is known as Dionoid. Wow. Who did uh, that other game, um, Amoeba Jump, uh, which is lots and lots of fun. Yeah, we played it last week, right? I think I Little Amoeba. So yeah, yeah. Played, there's yeah. another game, you know. That's now. great. I feel like I'm in the know now. <laughs> That's right. It's the second episode, and I'm learning so much. Dragon Stomper, Su Star Pass Supercharger Multiload Adventure runs on Harmony. I have not played that. Are you supposed to? So, yes, thank you. Now I know a little bit more where to look for it. Um, so yeah, if you want to take a look at my review, just head over to uh, my YouTube channel, which is just search for Zero Page Homebrew, and you'll find it on the YouTubes. Perfect. And uh, my next one is going to be doing an unboxing of a bunch of games I got. Amazing. I'm almost finished that uh, editing that. And then I will be doing a review of um, Wall Jump Ninja, which I have the world record for. <laughs> yes, I've seen that world record. It's, it's good. It's it was it was difficult to get, but I did it because <laughs> um, I know a fair amount about that game. So I think it'd be a good one to do my first. That's a good idea. It's a review good on because so, I know all the ins and outs and how to jump. And you I'm, are the world record holder. So. Yeah, <laughs> uh, world record holder until somebody just stomps me into the ground, <laughs> which I think they will do any time now. Um, world record holder on. Um, high scores. I have to qualify all this on highscores.com using uh, actual hardware. <laughs> yeah. Because there's other higher scores using emulator and all that, but using actual hardware, yes. You can't get past 65 on Wall Jump Ninja Sudenator. Yeah, I think I have 67. Those past 65, ev you have to struggle for every room. Wow. Because your guy is this high and the openings are this high the exact height of your character. So you have to make the perfect, pixel-perfect jump. My God. It's it's unbelievably hard. So that's that's why. As soon as you get to 65, you get a couple attempts, and if you don't make them, you start over again. 
and I happened to make it through two of those tiny openings in a row, and then of course died. <laughs> well, because that's that's how it goes. It's a ruthless game. It is, and it doesn't get easier after that. No. Every room is exactly that opening, I believe, after that. But we're not playing that today. We're playing Anguna today, part three of three. <laughs> okay, we'll, so we'll see. See, see, what we'll happens. see how far we get in it. Uh, so let's move over to that. And you can see there's the box down there. It's a terror. It's a webcam. It's a terrible uh, terrible camera, but it works. That's okay. It gets the job done. It does. It just shows you it plugged in and gets the box and it's a little bit shiny on the box because it's in plastic. And there's the manual if you wanted to Okay, great. To probably see help can... you as we're going through this. Um, so we have the um, the key, the little piece of hardware, at least the Atari Vox Plus plugged in to port two, which keeps the password um, so that you don't have to start from scratch Excellent. again or type in a password, even though it does have password support. Oh, it's one of these hairs in my face. There we go. Um, so it should be saved still on my decent score with all my health, all my arrows. Uh, so there's the password for anybody out there who wants to start where I'm starting <laughs> and play along at home. Um, so there, th there's the um, inventory screen. Um, so I have three keys at this moment. Uh, purple, a gold, and a silver, I guess. Looks kind of orangey. Makes sense. Uh, 40 out of 40 health, so I have full health. I have three strength on sword, three strength on shield. 98 arrows, zero experience. I, I don't know. I guess if you die, you lose all your experience. I don't know if it counts for anything. Interesting. I have the bow. I have the dynamite, uh, which blows a, uh, away rocks. It's very Zelda-y. Yeah, you need very all these Zelda things. I mean, they, they all build on the original ones like zelda was the big one so oh. everybody kind of copies here we go i think this is what's going on so level 11 which is the max level you have 40 health and that your experience oh. is 81 so i think it might be you have zero experience because you're the max level oh just that's my guess to zero yeah well i so think i it, can't get any higher yeah it's like t turning level 99 in a lot of rpgs or 80 or whatever it's it's there's so nowhere there's, you can so go. there's no point in getting more experience Yeah, because you're maxed out you can't get any more health that makes a lot of sense okay um, I have the lantern so I can see in the dark. You get that really early in the game. Perfect. It sounds like you're nearing the... We'll see. We'll see. I don't want to jinx it. It says there's six keys. Wow. I only have three. Okay. So, I don't know. And the um, the programmer, the developer who made this game, was here for the second playthrough. Yeah. And he said, mm, I think you should have more keys by now. So, I don't know. Okay. We'll have to see. <laughs> I don't <laughs> know. Because if you're max level, man, you got 98 arrows, you got yeah. lanterns, you I've got boulders. I've been through a lot of parts. It, it, it feel like you're you're zoning in, but we'll find out. And I have the boots, which allows you to walk on water and lava. Okay, cool. And there's the mini map, which doesn't help at all. Yeah, it just, <laughs> it's just it's so general. It, it looks like a like an Pretty. abstract painting. <laughs> it does. In, in all honesty. And. Uh, there's the code. It gives you a code anytime you flick to it. It updates oh, the code. Oh, cool! So you can always start off wherever you are. Um, That's terrific. But the person who developed it, he said that you don't start off in the exact room that you save in because there's only certain save points. So when you pass by a save point, it'll remember that. Because otherwise, you'd have to type in too many characters. Because those all represent like inventory and stuff and keys, um, so he says they're like there's like eight start points in the whole map. So okay, cool. I don't that know where they are though. It's not it's super relevant. So let's switch over. Uh, okay. So there's. Okay, I think I was just there, and now I'm there. Okay. I think now. I don't, I want to exit out actually and go up and go, oh, and I need to turn up the volume here. Okay, for cool. Us. Let's figure out where you are. Yeah, I, I am very dead certain that I'm there. Okay, great. Um, 
Okay, this seems, sense? Like, this seems like a main area, yeah. No, that doesn't make sense, actually. It is a oh, castle. Oh, that does make sense. Okay. Yep. Yep, so I am there. There, okay, so you're at the space you wanted to be at. Yes. So, we're going to go in, uh, walk into death. <laughs> okay, let's find out what happens. Okay, so this is the next room. Now, there's nothing in this room. I'm just going to give uh, Erlen some instructions how to draw the map. Okay. So if there was a creature in this room, I would say don't draw anything yet until okay. I defeat the creature. Because that opens doors. But since there's no creatures... Um, the only way to go is right. The only seems. way to go is right. I'm just going to check for secret passages, and there aren't. So you can draw a solid wall on the left, solid wall on the top and an open right passage you can either even draw like little things in a bit sure just to make it look a little bit like it awesome there I you gotcha. go perfect that's awesome and there's a dragon wait for you to defeat the dragon and dragons are really easy because <laughs> they only shoot that way oh and that's a pink door so you can draw this room now, because I've defeated it. What does a pink door mean? Uh, I just need to have that pink key. So, it looks pink to me. What do you think? Doesn't yeah, this seems right. Kind of purpley pink. Um, so now draw a solid door up top. A uh, locked door. Okay. And have it, yeah, down. Yeah. And, and then put below it... Pink. Pink. Done. And okay. dragons aren't hard, so I'm not going to bother putting dragon in there. They only cool. takes like four hits. And I don't have the pink key. <laughs> so. So we got to find the pink key now. Yes. Okay. We do. And the developer said that he thought that I missed a key in that two room dungeon there. Okay. Let's go back to the two room dungeon. And. Today, while I was remapping, I went all through there. There's definitely no keys there. Okay, good. Um, there's another one up here that we can go after if it's not in that two room. Okay, sounds good. Okay, so I need to find my way over there. And I'll just go all the way right until I get past the rivers. We got all these guys. What are these guys called? Uh, so these are snakes, these are snakes, snakes for sure. Those are bats. bats. Day bats. <laughs> and uh, you can just cross this river. Cause... I can because I have the boots now. Yeah. Okay, now this is our thing up top. Wait a second. Yeah, oh, makes sense. What? oh, I couldn't get in here before. Okay. That is also new. So Because I've never walked across that with my boots. See, it's not mapped. Yeah, check it out. Go see what's up. There. So I do need you to put a line there and a little um, filled in, or just an open door. An okay, open door. Cool. okay. So back. this might be the place I do need to go to. Okay, sounds good. So you can start a new map up there. Okay. Perfect. So this is an empty, empty room. With uh, seemingly all directions. All directions, yeah. So I'm going to do it in a clockwise fashion, following the walls. Sounds good. So I'm going to go left. No, those aren't doors. Those, those are, are just open. Yep. Or you can just redraw it in another spot. <laughs> Good idea. Ugh. Ah. Okay. Okay, so the room to the left is uh, completely closed off. Oh, wait a second. No, it's not. This is a lever, right? It is a lever. There we go. Yeah, it's still completely closed off. So, completely closed off room with a lever. Cool, done. And I just threw it. So we'll see what that means. Maybe in the next room will be somewhere else. Oh, no, it didn't change. Okay, going up. And then we have gonna... a blue. Yeah, that there. you can definitely fill in. Because that's a door. A blue door. What are these guys called? Uh, I don't know. 
know, stalkers. <laughs> that's go, a key, dude. They is go that straight... a key? No, that's, no, that's health. That's that would health. be awesome if that works. And that is a key I do not have. Blue key, good. Yeah. So you've got blue. Yep. Perfect. And we're going to go... I'm going to search for a secret... Nope. Okay, we're going to go left here. And it's a ghost. Arena foot. Are you enjoy. watching Live Free or Die Hard with Bruce Willis? Oh, this is much better than that. Uh, this is way better. This is way better thing to watch than the, the, Live Free or Die the Hard. The warlock scene with Kevin Smith is fun. <laughs> I like that scene. That's a good scene. That's not bad. It's not a bad <laughs> scene. It's crazy like Kevin oh, Smith. Oh, so something got opened up oh, underneath? That might be a one-way path. Let's see what happens. Yeah, it's oh, a one-way. Okay. So you do an arrow through the wall down. Gotcha. And that's a one-way path, gotcha. so I have to go all the way back. But I think I didn't have to open anything. So I don't have to defeat these guys, and I already did. So we're going to go up this time. Okay. And I'm just going to kill this guy f first. Oh, wasting arrows. So nothing changed, so you can fill in the top part cool. there. Solid. I'm going to check for... S oh, we actually don't, because I need to check for... No, they just fake blew, blew up the Capitol building. The f fake blew up the Capitol building oh, in the movie. And then he hangs out on the top of a airplane for a while. <laughs> and this movie's really went crazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to go left. So it's solid on both sides. I might go back and throw the switch, though. Sure, let's we'll see what happens. See. So it says, oh, this more blue. Blue. Again. blue. I should probably just use my sword on these guys. Yeah, because I you got a lot of arrows, but still there is a sense of like. Yeah, I don't want to use them all up, especially on bats. So that's another blue I can't do. Uh, let's see the map now. I might go down. Sure. Is. Just to because that might just be a. Oh no, it won't. Okay. That's... I'm gonna go. Whichever way you go, I got your map. Okay, I I'm think a, I will go. I'm the cartographer, man. <laughs> That's I'm, right. I'm ready to go with my cartography. Oh, oh. Because oh, yeah. they rush you in one direction up to the point where you were. There's some pretty decent AI in this, or at least interesting AI. Ah. These guys only go horizontally. Okay, cool. so that didn't change anything. Sick. Okay, let's keep find it on out. the side. Check out some secrets. It might be. Yeah. It might be one on the left. Nope. No. So keep going down one more. Ah. Whoa. Ah. Whoa. whoa. The good guy. thing about arrows is that you Pierce. can go through two things at once. Ah. Okay. Let's see what's up. Let's see, you got a lot of health. Okay. Oh, okay. Meat. That that's a wiggly door on the left then. Okay. Cool. Is in a uh, enemy door. Enemy cool. door. So. I Triangle wave. <laughs> I got you. Okay. These are nothing. Unless it's Which a makes switch. Sense. Another switch. Okay. We'll find out what happens. Yeah. So that didn't open anything here. So that is a completely closed off room with a switch. Cool. Oh. So that didn't open up the door on the right, so that's nothing. Yeah, I just bail. I wouldn't worry about this guy. That's nothing. And we'll keep going left. Okay, so there's a dragon, but you don't need to don't need to put him in there. He only takes four shots. I would think he'd be. When did dragons get so easy? I know. I think like dragon should be, should be the the it, end. The totally end boss. There's a there's a bat that's like ten times harder than that dragon. Okay, so you can fill in those. Cool, I got and you. And did that open up? No, when I that was them? there the whole time. Okay, so I could have just gone. Is through. this the bat? No. No. Uh, could be. It's not the same bat. Depends. I mean, this is a good situation we've got oh, going on. Oh yeah, here. very good. Oh Dude, good. Blue key. Okay. Good. Okay, so you can put. Uh, the room is totally confined. 
and we will go. So you draw a key and just put blue below it. Well, that's great. You can check out the... Check out all the blues now. It's getting in. Ah! No! Ah, dragon! I haven't been getting a lot of uh, food. But I'm still still up there. Oh, that's okay. Or arrows, actually. Still got 40 health. Okay, so this is... We'll see what happens. Yeah. Okay. Ah! Bats are... Ah, bats are really annoying. They're easy, but annoying. Because they're patterned, right? You totally predict where they're going. But when there's rooms full of them... It can become a pain. Oh, yeah. They're the Medusa heads of this game. <laughs> so this is totally closed off. Yes, they are. <laughs> I was like, Medusa heads. Ah, Castlevania. They're not quite as bad as them. No, those are but they're but they, terrible. But they got a pattern, right? And you think they're gonna be easy. That's true. But the problem is, is this, is it's just you know they're terrible. They cover enough ground that they're hard enough, they're hard to avoid. Okay. What is okay? This is just this this friend here. Daywalker. Cool. Uh, okay. We're getting low on arrows though. Oh no. I got one. That is a switch door, for sure. Okay. Um, yeah, so you can draw in a switched door up there. Okay, we'll do. And fill in this room completely. Okay, blank, except for... So I need to go back to a switch. Uh, One of these, potentially? Yeah. Or you can check out this other blue room if you want. Uh, yeah, I'll go throw that switch and then check out that blue room while I'm there. Cool. So I need to go... Right, down, right, down, right, down, right. Oh. Oh. I, have to, I do have to go throw the other switch. Interesting. Okay, so which way is that? Go down, keep going down, oh, keep okay. going down. And to the left. Yeah, to the left. We gotta kill these guys. Ugh. I like when they get stuck in the walls. <laughs> it's so easy. <laughs> Gives you an insane advantage. Oh. Yeah. There we go. Now, every switch operates every door. Oh. And they all um, they all go in unison. Like all the switches and all the Should you doors. check out the other one and to see... Do you know what I mean? Like, should you check out and see if this, this, that switch you just did worked? It would have. Yes. Let's just make okay, sure. Okay, let's do that. Just in case. So it's up through here? Yeah, just keep going. Just go up and then to the left and we'll see if that did uh, anything. Yeah, it did. Yep. So that is a switch door. Oh, my arrows. I shouldn't be wasting it on a guy that's stuck. Should I? No. <laughs> Okay. okay, cool. So we got that switch up there. That's good. Let's see what this new area is. Okay. Uh, so that's solid. Solid. And open to the right. Let's see what that does. That's another that's switch. switch. I'm just going to throw it twice. Okay, that doesn't do anything. That's um, blue. So that might be a one-way passage. This is a one-way passage for sure. Yeah. This one's... Uh, and Which then one? I'll just I'll let us know that this is a switch room. Yep. Okay, good. Now we're going to go to the right and defeat these. Oh, he just teleported. And do I have more arrows or more health? It's, it's, getting, uh, it's getting gloomy, man. It is getting very gloomy. How do we get back some health and some arrows? You can do farming. Um, oh, there we go. What is this? I've this is a... Where's the manual? Yeah, let's find that over. Let's find that out. Hold on, I have to use the bathroom real quick. Okay. I will be right back. Well, I will look this up. Ring of Attack. Excellent. So, Ring of Attack greatly increases your attack power to prepare you for your fight with the Goblin King. So that is excellent. <clears throat> so... Let's just mark that in as the ring. I'll put that in my 
um, notes here as a new item. Uh, just put it ring. There's only one ring in the game, so I don't need to label it ring of attack. And that opens up to the bottom. Excellent. So that was the Ring of Attack. So it says it helps me and defeat the Goblin King. Okay. So I feel like good. defeating a Goblin King is what we're aiming at. Is a good thing. So let's check out inventory. There we go. So we have the ring now. Beside the boot. That's good news. Yep. We need some health. So now we're going to go down. Yeah, we need some health. This might be a good farming room. Because, oh, oh, it's a one way though. Okay. I think that was just to get our. Uh, uh yeah, and there was nothing either way. No. Okay, so that was just to get out. Well, just so much to... for farming there. Um, we can check out this blue room, and I mean, I don't know how you're doing for health. Uh, fairly terrible. Can you attack through that? Yes, they didn't give me anything, but. This is not a bad oh, uh, room to farm. See? Good. Okay, we get some health. And then I'll get arrows and health. And I usually and I would usually use less arrows than I would gain. So it, and this guy's a he stands still. It's because he only takes two, right? Perfect. But you don't always get something. It's good though. We gotta do. Can you attack you with oh, your sword? I might anything? be able to actually. It's a good. Yeah, I can. Come on, come on, come on. No, 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 over here, over here. No, wrong way. Come on, buddy. Yes, okay. So there we go, perfect. He's a good, he's actually a really good one to be have in here, because he moves. Good. But, yeah. Oh, Jesus, that was bad. The good thing about... I just bail, man, if, if, yeah, if he's yeah. in the wrong spot. And you get about two, one second yes. um, of invincibility when you enter a new room. Oh, that's good. Because it is kind of unfair if he's right on top of you. Yeah, man. Yeah, this is yeah. perfect. This yeah, is actually this is all really need. good. He only takes two hits, which is only um, worse by one than the easiest thing to kill, which is not too bad. And especially just being completely protected. Oh yeah, this is I'm perfect a, farming room. I'm a big fan of farming in games. Actually, <laughs> I like I like that a lot. Yeah, that's grind, neat. Grind, the idea grind. of like, although I'm a I'm kind of a fan of this kind of game because I think a lot of games these days, especially <laughs> RPGs, really hold your hand through a lot of the stuff. Oh yeah. And and the, half the fun of RPGs is this exploration. And, and this, the danger of dying, too. Yeah, and, and that's, that would be something that would be really nice, and I'd love to see in more games. You feel like you're also on an adventure when you got to pull up the map and <laughs> yes. take some stuff. And... I mean, I don't mind the modern ones where they have the map on the screen. I mean, screen. that would be, you know, <laughs> wouldn't it be terrible? <laughs> Especially for new ones that are, like, huge. But huge. I, I remember... Um, oh my God, I'm almost dead. That's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll I have to be we'll more careful. On. I remember the Elder Scroll games. Morrowind yeah. was really fun because there was really no, um, there was no mini mini map. There was no indication as to where your quest God. was. So you would basically get a scroll which would say go to this area. Okay. And there's also a famous example of it where they they screwed up the directions. Oh, so no. it's literally impossible. <laughs> like you have to just like find. It. And this was cool because Morrowind was like pre um, internet. Yes. I mean, I guess the internet was no, around, it was, it but was it was around. but it was this thing of just like. Like you, the, there weren't as many guides. There That's wasn't right. as much there. resources. It wasn't so obvious to sort of quickly go on to something. And then uh, you know, Oblivion and, and, and oh, Skyrim are just so much easier. It's almost it's impossible great. not to like know where you're going. And it's really designed for casual gamers. And, um, it is, yeah. which I have no problem with. But there's something yeah. cool about the RPGs like this where you don't know and you have to kind of like. Because yeah. you have to figure it out. That's the fun. Yeah, you, you don't know what's even coming up in the game. There's no, there's no hand-holding at all. 
the, the I mean, the really old ones had no saves and no continues. Well, I, for RPGs, I don't think any were like that. They would always, they would either be on a computer where you, you could save it, or they would be an NES where yeah. it would have a battery in it, um, or it would be a, a short enough that you could play it in a you know an hour or so, yeah. like on a adventure on on twenty six hundred or something. And I think RPGs have really. Um are one of the weirdest genres because I don't think RPGs have gotten better with graphics. I think in some ways they've gotten yeah. worse because half the fun is the imagination and half the fun is the story. Yes. And, um, I mean, we have, I love grinding games. They're very fun to <laughs> kind of grind the hell out of getting gear and stats and stuff. But, yeah. but to tell a story, you just need text. And there's a lot of really yeah. great old text-based RPGs. Oh, yes. They're just... really, really good. Like, they're, like, even ones that are done by done by like authors like hitchhiker's guide to the galaxy was made into a uh, a game absolutely and it was just like the movie and the radio show and the book were all different oh my god um the the, the game is different too just just like in little bits and you have to play it a little bit differently than what was done in like you couldn't just follow the the book or the movie you had to figure it out a little bit differently it was lots of fun. Yeah, nobody's talking. I mean, <laughs> nah, that's okay. It's because it's the same thing over and yeah, over again. Man. Um, so, has anybody out there um, played this game, or what are your favorite RPGs, RPGs? or anything? Man. Or do you that's... play RPGs? Because I know we got our, our homebrew people are are maybe a little bit different, but I mean, games are games. It'd just be cool yeah. to hear which ones you like. And uh, admittedly, there aren't many RPGs on the twenty six hundred because of its massive limitations yeah only has 128 bytes of memory so it's hard to store all this information as well as um the regular pieces of information need to store like all the arena enemies. foot says no just no <laughs> no to all of it i don't play nope. them i don't like we're them i don't have board them. man we're not we're not down that's okay arena foot <laughs> yeah i mean i I, pl I don't play a ton of them but i do i do play like the modern ones um like the Elder Scrolls ones, and, yeah, and also the um, the other one done by uh, the same company, Fallout. Fallout, yeah, three and four. Those, those those definitely count as well. My favorites yeah. are I used to Baldur's Gate, Baldur's Gate two mm. are amazing. I love 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 those games, and they have such an interaction, and they're turn based. Yeah, um, I used to play Ultima, all the Ultimas back in the day. Um, on my C64, um, some AD&D games on C64 yeah. as well. Those were like like first person perspective moving through things, kind of rough, like place, 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 chunky, like yeah. that. And then it would go into you on the left and them on the right, and it'd be one at a time <laughs> fighting. I guess Ultima was like that too. And Much I, easier to handle. And Arena Foot's telling us that that's why this title has not made any of his books, which <laughs> makes sense. I mean, if yeah. you're not in RPGs, man, I get not wanting to play the RPG. And yeah, and you have to to be able to write about a game. You have to play it, enjoy it, understand it, and have an understanding of the genre too. Absolutely. Otherwise, you just come at it from a more naive perspective and. Maybe people won't listen to you. <laughs> like, you don't know what you're talking about. Arena Foot says he'd, he'd be down to have a map. Ah. I think that's not a bad idea, Arena Foot. Yeah. Because I got to say, like, even helping James out with this, if I didn't have the map, I don't know. If you're I screwed would, I would not if you don't this. make your own map in this game. It's so difficult. Unless you've got an amazing memory, which I have not. I do not have an amazing memory. <laughs> so I need a map. I mean, I, now that I've drawn it out a bit, especially the overworld, I kind of know... Yeah, you generally start to where get a things sense are of it. just because you once you draw something that's the ah. that's what you need a teammate to yes do, that is very helpful it's gonna make, i don't know how you would do it on your own it was terrible movie. and a slow episode <laughs> i was stopping and drawing and then going back to the game and stopping constantly it was terrible it's a very slow episode and me being by myself uh, there was uh, nobody no, to talk to and bounce things off of. Yeah, because especially when you're in a place like this where you're just grinding, man. I think it's I'm almost good. Maybe a couple yeah. more arrows. And I'm understanding like where you were at before, you know? Yeah. You kind of got to take your time. And... 
Sudanator, I've never played many RPGs to begin with. I've started the first two Zelda games. Yeah, I haven't played the Zelda games. I yeah. I barely started them. I've got one of them up there, and I um, probably should play them. They're classics. I could be wrong, but I, we're talking NES Zelda, right? The yeah. first NES Zelda is amazing game. Yeah. It's a really incredible game. It's very it's, similar to this. Yeah. Room, room, kill oh, things. Yeah. And, and it changed everything. It's yeah. really wonderful. And then the second one is terrible. It's <laughs> oh, like no. one of the worst games I've ever played. My oh, sister, no. who's who's she has. Has, uh, she's got a little bit on the spectrum, and she plays yeah. games like crazy. Like she yeah. loves games. Gets right she into them. she was not super into uh, Zelda two at all. She beat oh. Zelda two. She's one of the only people I <laughs> know who's the whole done time. it. Oh yeah, <laughs> well, and she's a big NES player. That's her thing. She loves the NES. Uh, okay, yeah, um, yeah. Well, that's a great system. And uh, it, it it up the bar for what you could do on a console. Like just open it wide up. Hands down. Um, so I think I'm there. I believe so. That's right. Yeah. Um, so uh, let's uh, let's yeah. go down and then to the right, and we'll see if there's a blue, because right. that's the next place to explore. That would be really interesting. Yeah, good. Let's ah. Check out our. Oh yeah, we gotta, you gotta get it. And I lose all my arrows and health. There we go. Ah, oh, we got our good. health back. We're fine. Okay, so check now out I have blue a blue. Ring. Okay, so hopefully that isn't gonna interfere, which it probably will, because they're always square. Yeah. This is why I almost wish uh, we had our webcam right here, <laughs> so they could they could see what I'm doing. Oh, it's all it's, zip tied no, like crazy over we'll there. Leave, we'll leave it. We'll leave it. It's all good. That would be a good. Yeah, that would be good for the webcam. I do have another webcam, but it's in a box. And it's gonna be effort. Yeah, it's gonna be a bit of an effort. But I'll think of that in the future. For the map. For like I... mapping ones where they have yeah. to see what we're doing here, rather than staring at a. Because this is definitely like almost a second screen type situation. I wouldn't yeah. know how to do this. Okay, but we're going into this blue room. We'll see what's up. Oh, cool. Okay. I'm, I'm thinking there's got to be a monster or something. Like maybe, yeah. a, maybe a secret. That's funny. You touch the bottom. And yeah. It, and it's just like, oh yeah, you open the door. Okay. So oh, something I'm, opened up. Yeah, open to the right. That was unexpected actually. Maybe this is bigger than I thought. Enemy door. I remember this. Yep. Good. Got it. Haha. Uh -huh. Ooh, a knife upgrade. That is one for the map. Good news. Okay, I got you. <laughs> How's your artwork? <laughs> oh, it's the greatest. No, it's terrible. <laughs> it's so good that, enough. It tells the story. It yeah. tells the story. So that helps me upgrade my melee. That's good so news. And we'll just down. Ah! Whoa! Ah! These ghosts. Okay, we got a switch. Ah, uh, okay. Yep. Down switch here. door. Okay, this is the room as it is. Cool. So, yeah, no switch secret door. passage. Um, I got a theory as to what switch that is. So, we, we'll be able all to. All the switches are the same. Oh, really? Cool. All of them open all doors. Okay, cool. So, I know where our switch is at that we can deal with for the next bit. Anyway, yeah, we fun. won't go there yet. Let's find out what this yeah. thing on the right is, I guess. Yep. Interesting. Skeleton. Oh, okay. Uh, so it opened one up on the right, and one was open on the bottom already. Pretty good. Done. So let's go to the right since sure. I've already opened it up. So I'd have to kill him again. Let's find out. Uh, it's a dead end for me. So this, you have to do that um, pattern. Keep it open on the left, open on the top, open on the bottom, solid on the right. Put that kind of mm -hmm. thing, that shape that I have passageway shape i don't know what to i know what's it up okay good got yep. you perfect okay so there's more let's to go down this. Yes. i mean we don't even let's see if he's uh... get out of here get out of our way buddy okay ah now we yeah there we go okay interesting okay. oh secret passageway okay so to the is... right is a secret and to the bottom is not a secret okay i got it Good. Bottom's nothing, and then right is open. Uh, left is open. Maybe. Left is open. Sorry. Cool. Okay. And that's our switch room, actually. Oh. Did you go through the secret? Which one did you go through? Did you go yeah, through? I went to the secret. Okay. Cool. Okay, that makes sense because up is going to be our interesting room. Yeah. Bottom is nothing. Maybe, right is nothing. Maybe pop over to the other one real quick because this is that switch room. I think this might just be dead. Oh, okay. Just curious, oh, I see. Just because I think, given our map situation, I'm thinking. 
Oh shit, those are one way. I totally screwed us. No, 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 no. Oh, it's a one way. That's, yeah. that's fine. Well, that's good to know. Yeah. It's a one way. Yeah, we'll be able to. And then we just go up and around. Yeah, we gotta go back. Oh, it's I'm... a switch. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. No, we have to explore it. We don't know. I thought, to... I thought it was gonna be a good idea. And I love these. These are cool. Um, there's a game called Bruce Lee for the C64 that has similar things that yeah. patrol a room like this. That's neat. And I just, they're great little puzzle things. So it's solid on, oh, actually I didn't check, but I am like 100% pretty... certain that it'll be solid on that Oh yeah, because this is also the, the areas, ah. given, the, yeah. given the situation. Yeah, yeah it is solid. Okay, cool. So go up. Okay. And then we'll. we'll no, I want to do a. Or no, I don't need to do a switch. Uh, right? No, we're fine. Because, okay. yeah, now we know what that switch room is. There's no need to worry about it. So we go blue and kill everybody. Uh, and then go right. Ah. Okay. And then. And then we go down. Yep. Ah. And then you go to the right. Okay. And then you go down. Okay. Secret passage. Okay. And then, um, Snoop. yeah. And I'm thinking this is going to either be a secret passage or when we kill this guy, it'll release yeah. our thing up. Good. Oh, also, I fixed this <laughs> for the people who are wondering. Was it, this was a problem last episode, right? I don't this remember. Was sticking? Oh, yeah. I fixed it. Good Opened work, it up dude. And totally fixed it. So this Perfect. is, this is going to be our, our passageway room we're entering into right now. This one right okay. here. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, almost killed myself. Not killed myself, but... Okay. okay. Slow-moving shooters. Okay, so... Let's just kill... Oh, one, one hit wonders. Ah! Doesn't mean... Okay. Oh. So opens up on the, the left. But I'm going to check for secret on the right. Nope. Fixed is good. Yes. It was terrible. It was sticking on the up and the down. Yeah, and it that's was making not good. I think that might have been interfering with the mappy entering in your name because I was complaining about that. And they were like, "Guy." And and the I think that's a that's a your problem. Yeah, that's and not the an MP. The developers it's like, "Oh, I'm going to I'll I'll have to fix that in my game." Yeah. Oh, like, sorry guys. Sorry. Mappy people. Sorry, John. <laughs> um, maybe it's not the game. But it does still seem slow, but it might have been sticking, which held it in place. I don't know. Okay, so we're going through the open. Yep. Yep. Okay. And it's switch. a switch. So I don't know if I should even bother check touching this, it. Check the secret business oh. up. Um, Let's check and see if there's anything secret up top. Just, oh, yeah. I don't think so. No. I don't think so. I really doubt it's going to no. be on the left. Okay, good. Well, I don't know if I should throw it or not, but I did. We still find out. Only one way to go. Okay. I'll just uh, kill this dude. Just cuz. Might have dropped something. Cool. So we're gonna go up. up. Ooh, ghosts. Oh, these are so hard to kill. Oh, they're. Oh, these guys aren't. Ah! These are a little bit. Because they. You teleport. Wow. Yes, got some arrows. Okay, so check for secrets. Nothing has changed in the room. Nope. Okay. It's so going up. Good stuff. Yeah. Ugh, these guys are fast moving. Ah! Oh, only one hit. Oh. Yeah, what I had to do to the joystick is there's a spring that makes it bounce back. And I stretched out the spring. Yeah. Um, so I gave it a bit more bounce because it was just deflated after 20 years. Um, so I'm going to go to the left here. Yeah. That didn't do anything. Nothing. Oh. Oh, secret. Secret to the left. Um, I think I will stay here. Oh, this is an S. Okay, good. This is a big, big dungeon. Oh my god. Yeah, man. Okay, so Hopefully this I is find actually, some keys in this here. Actually, this room here. Yep. Oh, cool. I'll just check upward, but I think 
the thing. Okay, cool. Wow. So I'll go to the left and finish off that yeah, area. Yeah, we'll see what's up there. Oh, God. You had no idea. Okay. <laughs> got him. We got 70. Ugh. Oh, I shouldn't be taking hits. This guy's easy. Oh, I'm like going the... I'm running away from it like an idiot. I should be going the opposite way. Okay. So hard to dodge and guy, line up your shots. Because you have to hold down the button, which... To go. shoot the we arrow. Oh, and he's speeding up too. Uh, which yeah, might, which might be easier. Got him. Wow. Problem is with these bosses is there's no escape. You can't go out after you've gone in. You die or you defeat them, which is normal <laughs> for a boss. Oh, he's gonna be like the bat. So um, maybe just put a. A, another bat in there. It's not a bat, but it represents yeah. a boss, right? And it opens up. It's a one way down. Uh, we'll find out we get this in. room. It is only a one way that way. Yeah, yeah. Because I can't. Ooh, I don't even want to risk it. It might be a secret. I'm just going to go down. Do it. And Do it. Go down. Messy this room. room. We'll figure it out. Oh, oh, key. Is it the same key, though, as before? No, no, you don't get the same key. We haven't even been in this room. No, That's yeah, a new this room. Is okay, cool. So I'll put a key there. It's a mess, I know. So. Oh, it's all good. Uh, mappy name entry. Set all initials. Don't enter last letter. Let the music play the whole song. Why? That's what the arcade does. It enters your initials when the song gets to the part with the long string of bass notes. It's a great ending to the story. Yeah. Wow, thanks, dude. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, I see, I see, I see. So don't end the name entry early. Yeah. Just put the last letter there and just hands off and, then and play out the song. Very cool. Yeah, that's a good way to do it. So you've got the key in there. It yeah. is a... Turquoise? Teal? Teal, let's Teal's do it. Teal's four letters. Grab nice, it. And, nice and small. Let's look at your inventory. Let's see if it... How many keys do I have now? I should have five. Yeah. One more. Yeah, it's okay. So Good. that's, yeah, we'll call it the teal key. Good. Teal, yeah. Because the other one's blue, I would say. Yeah. This one's teal. Oh, I see. It's interesting. We need the pink one. Is, is uh, Yes. To get through that. So we don't even have... Did we get the pink one? Let's look. Let's see. No, we... No, that's no. the missing key. Oh, we're in trouble. Okay. So, and then it's down... Yeah, we still got a little bit to explore here. So let's go Oh, this down. is the exit. No? Yeah, no, that's here. a fake exit because that's not... Yeah. That's just a... Oh, that's just a thing I, I made Maybe before. just do an, a thing like that to signify. Cool, let's see. Let's go out and see what happens. Oh, okay, cool. That is not... Maybe it's this room. Ah! Okay, I gotta kill this guy. I bet you it's this room. Yeah, I have had teleporting makes sense it's all good rooms let's, which throw off the map that's fine let's kill this guy and see what's up so maybe just have an arrow go yeah. from there over to there oh, if you kill him we'll know because if, if this, that's if this one opens up yeah okay oh. cool that's good that's correct yeah. yes okay now where we haven't we gone we haven't explored a lot of stuff around here. Okay, so if you can navigate. Okay, so go to the right. Yep. Uh, uh, go down. Yep. Go to the right. <sighs> go. Oh, we need that switch. That's the only thing. Okay. So um, switch nearby. Not really. We'd have to go back. We'd have to backtrack a little bit. Oh no, hold on. This is open. So yeah, go go to the right. Um, oh, yeah? Yeah, okay. go to the right. Um, no. Oh, no, shoot. Go to the left. What's this? Oh, I guess this is a switch room door. We just had it switched properly yeah. before. Okay, so let's actually go down then. Uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, from this room, yeah. you mean? Okay. 
Yep. Ah. And, um, okay, we'll go to the left. And then, um, uh, go to the left, and there should be a switch. Yes. Okay, there we go. Okay. Now we'll go up. Okay. Go through that blue door. Now kill this guy, and we'll kind of we'll sort of rinse and repeat a little bit. Good. I needed health. All right. Maybe I should get some more health. Not a bad idea. Ah. Arena Foot says, cool! To what? Oh, to probably that statement. <laughs> the mappy statement. It's got some arrows, good stuff. Yep. Not perfect place to do all this, but because he seems to be like in my face every time. Maybe I'll do it to this guy. Yeah, I'll go from here to there. Sometimes it turns into like a little dot. That's I don't funny. know what that right? is. Programming error, or is He's it throwing just, stones? Yeah, is it an actual stone instead of an arrow? It might be. No, it's always there. It's just being annoying. Okay, over, over. Yes. Not bad. Get a couple more. Because I'm gonna. Well, I probably don't have to face another boss. Because there's. I've already done one in this. In yeah, this, this area, you, you, and, and who knows, I don't think there's actually going to be anything significant that we find. No. It'll just be nice for our own purposes to know that to, we've... To make sure we've gone everywhere. Because, because that key, we need that that last pink key. That's it. And that's it. And I think that is the whole overworld. Um, before the goblins? Goblins lair? But we got our ring of power. That helps a so. lot. Come on. Drop something. Wasting all this. Oh, my! Now my arrows are nothing. <sighs> it's this a, guy's it's a good. vicious game, man. It is. Okay. We gotta go back to our... Okay. Uh... I'm just gonna soldier on, I guess. Yeah, let's keep pushing. Um, actually, mm, 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 mm. let's save. <laughs> that's how you save. Oh, that's cool. It's funny I like that you just yeah. flip the switch. It doesn't save your position. It saves everything else, though. Um, now you're gonna want to read some what I I is supposed to wrote because that doesn't mean as much to me as it will to you. <laughs> Star Hit Pass Supercharger last two games available after the 1984 crash came in a Ziploc baggie. Ooh, budget title. Actually has continue code like Anguna. Oh, oh. too bad they are grade F as in terrible. Oh, that's too bad. What is the 1984 crash? It sounds like Orwellian <laughs> nightmares, man. It's when uh. The consoles, all the consoles that were out at the time, went down the tubes. Was this at all related to e the E.T. game? No, no, no. It no. wasn't really. Everybody blames it on T E.T. But it was just, just a lot of money. It just was coincidental. In. A lot of money was spent on E.T. and it didn't make it back. So it, it was part of it, but like that much part of it. Yeah, it's it was, a bigger it was, picture. It was more like the the market was flooded with third-party titles yeah. that were sold for very cheap, were very terrible. So you have all these stores filled with terrible titles for very cheap at the Christmas season of 1983. So the parents go into the stores, go, oh, look at all these cheap titles. We'll I'm going to buy these for Johnny. And he's going to love them. And Super Marlo Brothers. That Super sounds Marlo fun. Brothers. <laughs> so instead of getting quality games like the Activision games, yeah, he they got no-name brand from Ripoff wow. Land. And, and everybody started hating everything. Wow. And also to compete with the budget titles, the, uh, you know, the big names had to drop their prices 
and suddenly they weren't making money and it was just it was just flooding the market with bad titles for cheap and it, the bottom fell out there's no money for development anymore of good games yeah um everybody started kind of hating video games a little bit mm, a little bit it was more about the the companies going bankrupt because nobody was buying their expensive games anymore yeah um yeah most titles were 4.99 each brand wow. new when the big ones were like you know 35 40, yeah because it's a proper team has developed these yeah. versus some crazy like, and taking a lot of time and effort and put into it and these really good programmers at activision mostly yeah <laughs> and i magic and and some atari titles but um tax avoiders i have that in my closet tax actually i feel like that doesn't promise uh a christmas <laughs> Ooh, tax good time avoiders. dad i'm gonna play tax avoiders tonight this is good it's woof. like oh you're gonna al capone this? <laughs> <That's right. laughs> run away from the irs uh oh they almost oh, got no. me i almost got audited um, <laughs> this is great so the u.s was pretty much dead until nintendo came in and said no third-party titles wow we're gonna put a lockout chip i guess this is where um uh what is it uh i i I suppose suppose to say not really not enough quality control that's what he's talking about yeah no quality control gone 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 um yeah so that was a big crash and and nintendo rescued in part uh the u.s was it the nes yeah, the NES. Yeah, okay. That's the first it as system I played. That was that was where I started. That's where the whole next generation started with video games, and it was a great system. And they had to get it in as a toy into into the stores. Be- well, it even because looks like a toy, you know. It's, it's you a front loading at... VCR type system. That's how they got it in with the Rob Robot. Oh, it's just a toy. It's not a video game system. It's it a was, toy. I remember a weird moment when I was little because I had the gun for um, uh, Duck Hunt, and the yes. gun was oh, uh, so much fun. silver. And I remember for yes. whatever reason, my mother thought that that was too violent, and so she got an orange gun. <laughs> yes. And I'm like, what world are we living in where an orange gun is somehow going to stop me? She's like, I don't want my kid to shoot ducks with a <laughs> silver gun. Let's get him an orange gun. It's fine. Oh, but fine. I remember hearing that that was a big deal yeah. at the time, too. And, and you, it's interesting. You don't really see like a gun like that for no. like something you take at home. But I mean, of course, in the arcade, you'll see stuff. But, oh, yeah, lots of guns. Those are the big ones. Those, those, big those ones. hunting games are everywhere. Yeah, and even the, bars. You just, yeah, like, those are the only... Bar those are the big just... sellers now. Okay, I can... Do, I can uh, so go right. Okay. I'll uh, and go down. Yep. And now go right. Ah. I'm ah. sorry. I don't want you to die. Nope. Neither do I. I want you to die. Okay. I have no arrows left. Oh, my God. This is not... Okay, watch. Shit, we gotta um, uh, we gotta kill this guy <laughs> with my no arrows. Yeah. Okay, good. We, now we we go to the right. Um, yeah, Arena Foot says, of course we didn't know the crash was happening. Yeah, nobody, no no consumer really did because all these games were cheap. Yay, cheap games. Yeah. So it's happy, and then oh, we got guys letting us know about this. Uh, what is it? The Magnavox Odyssey. Odyssey. Nice yeah, there was a lot of realistic guns for a lot of the systems until they people went panicky. Um, oh, I see what's going on. Okay, we gotta go down. Actually, sorry, I led you okay. astray. To go secret over to the right. Perfect. Now we gotta kill this guy, and we can go up. <laughs> oh no. Okay, if he can get stuck right here. Come on, buddy. We just need some arrows, Come on, dude. That's all we need. Yeah. All I don't know. Oh, now you go up. Yep, yep, yep. Oh. Come on. Go up. Okay, now come over. Perfect. Boom, go up. Okay. There's going to be some the app. Well, I should have let you know. I was... No, it's not drawn in. Keep going up. Okay, now. Keep going up. Okay. Uh, Keep going up. Oh shit! This is where we gotta get, we gotta kill these guys, and we got a uh, we got a lever right there on the right on the left, like the oh, next okay. like the next door. But we gotta kill these ghosts somehow. Okay, at least I have powered up now. Oh no! It claims that that you gotta kill these guys, and you can go to the left. I don't know what happened. What? Are we locked out now? That doesn't make any sense. Ah, uh, the map is... Yeah, we're right there. Yeah, because this is the thing. Is it like... What the hell? 
okay, I need to go throw a switch again. Yeah, but the problem is, is we, but the problem is we need the switch in order to get into this room, so... Can I just go down and then straight across and then all the way back? Uh, I, well, the problem is this is a one-way. Oh. That's the issue. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Well, I have to do it. I have to go back to a switch now. Hold on. Oh, hold on. Go up. I, I think I, I think I might have screwed it up. Oh. Death. Oh, no. It's okay. Because I think that... Okay, I, I think I... Oh no, Does, did you lose all your levels and everything? No, I've got all my keys. Okay. Everything is normal and I actually got five arrows back. Okay, good. <laughs> but I do start back. No, not there. It, we're still in the dungeon. Oh, okay. We're still in the dungeon. I think I was there and now I'm there. Okay, good. Uh, Yeah, one way passage. Yep. Okay. Let's go down. Okay. Oops. And then where? Let's go down. Okay, and, blue, and then we'll go to the right. And then we can go down. And we can even farm a bit in this room if you want. Um, yep. Mm, yeah, yeah, I could. If he, there. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. I think these skeletons are bad for farming. They're like, not, they don't give much. Last Come time on. you did it um, from the bottom up, if you remember. Oh, so maybe it's good for farming. I think this yeah, is... I, I think I'll get past him. Maybe I'll just... Does he always appear there? <laughs> yes, he does. This is a jerk. Okay, get out of here. There we go. Good, okay. Yes. That's what I need. Arrows yeah, because I won't lose any life and I won't lose any arrows farming this guy. Eh. Yeah, I think I'm maxed out on, maxed out on life now. Let's get a couple of arrows and then we can. A lot of arrows. <laughs> a lot of arrows. And then They're just so convenient. Lead us back. I screwed up though. I know exactly how I screwed up. Yeah. It's hard to correct in pen. <laughs> no, no, it's not. What it is was we were one. Uh, we were one <laughs> above where I thought we were. Oh. So if you if you look here, you see right? that or... I was. I, we were here. Oh. We, I actually needed, we needed to go one down and then, and that, oh, so that was, that okay, was just good. my, the cartographer <laughs> was not. Not reading it right. That's but right. You wrote it right. I wrote it right. Well, that's just, a better, that's definitely a better alternative. <laughs> reading it wrong. But I, I, had, I had no health anyway, so, I mean, this is, and no arrows. I needed to, I needed to go back here anyway. Come on. Come on. No. Just need arrows. Come on. Ugh. Come on. Oh my god. <laughs> Perfect. So I've filmed the unboxing, the next um, edited episode, because I have That's live brilliant. episodes and edited episodes. So I've filmed it all. I've whoa, whoa. I've synced it all up. That was a freebie. Synced up the yeah. Synced up the audio and the video, which is easy. Um, and I've I've got about halfway through editing. And I've filmed all the B-roll, which I did at the same time. Um, unboxings are pretty easy to edit. I've already done one already. And doing the book review really showed what I need to do in reviews. Yeah. Because I wanted to do... Oh, oh, that's okay. We'll get some stuff. Yeah. Because I... It shows me what I need to do in a review um, because I wanted to do a practice one first. And the book one was a good... It's it's a good one. It was difficult because there's not a lot of B-roll you can do with a book. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. It's like, we're going to flip the pages. Oh, well, I flipped it in five different ways. <laughs> <laughs> five six different ways and i held the book up i rotated the book i flipped the book i zoomed in on the book i flipped the book fast i stopped on pages i zoomed in on pages i, I, I don't know i <laughs> don't know what else only, i could have done only so far you can take yeah. the book so I, I think i covered covered the uh covered it up pretty well i think i've got full health oh there we go we're close though um 
We'll find out. Oh, 39. Getting there. Yeah, they don't. He's dropping is, things pretty this regularly. This is our farming room. It is. Ever was it's one. really it's perfect. There's no danger, very little danger. And, you know, only one guy to hit. Come on. Ugh. Come on. Come on. <laughs> this, this jerk here, man. A per... Oh. Ah, it's okay. Uh, I guess I'll do that if they're being an idiot. He's like Arena Foot place. was a fan of the of the book review, but he said that um, if there's a way to call in during your book review, <laughs> like in. an interview, I will do interviews um, soon. I'll be I'll do like Skype interviews because there's a lot of European developers which I will never meet in person. Yeah. So I will have to do Skype interviews, and also in this I know, circumstance, I would just bail. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. But it only takes one arrow, so it's worth it. Well, eh, maybe not worth it. Um, yeah, so I'll do like Skype interviews, which I think would be um, a good thing for the European. And I know Arena Foot is in eastern U.S., east southeastern U.S., so that's difficult too, because yeah. um, he's going he's going to like a different. He's not going to the Portland. Expo because yeah. there's one at the same time nearer to him. Like Portland is way further for him than it is for me, and it is not super. I mean, it's only six hours, seven hours for me. It's not too bad. No, it's not too bad for a big event, a multi like a three day event. Totally worth it. Oh my god. Um, yeah. Uh, thank you for saying the review is awesome. Um, I'm very hypercritical, um, <laughs> yeah. mostly because I'm a filmmaker and. These these things are just like for you fun. You have to be a perfectionist is the problem. But, uh, yeah, I know. But, it, but it's also the burden of being a perfectionist, right? It is. It's like nothing's ever good and good enough. But um, I didn't do too bad. I, I, I went off the top of my head for what I was saying, which was a big mistake. I didn't have any notes. Yeah. Which, and next time I'm going to have like point notes. Yeah, because there's you don't want to be scripted, but you no. got it. You want to know like this is the thing I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna and say this. Do suc succinct. Know that you've covered it. Move on to the next point. Yeah. Do a wrap up. Do an intro. You're good. Because I I Cause teach I, I teach a filmmaking class, and that's how I prep any lecture I do. I used to lecture really specifically, right. but what I'll do is that I'll just kind of have my structure. And I have it like down pat, and then what I'll do is I'll kind of go through it, and then if I feel like people are getting bored, <laughs> it's nice. From, yeah, and then you off. switch to the next thing, but it's yeah. nice to have an audience there because you can feel energy, yes. right? It's hard in your room when you're talking to a camera, but when there's <laughs> like a room hard. of people, and um, but it's tough. Like lecturing for a classroom, you gotta go like you got about 20 minutes before people are done, and then you gotta mix it up with something. Um, the straight yes. up talking is just too much and it's amazing too though because people will listen for 20 minute chunks but then you send them off to do an exercise or, right. or get them to talk even if it's amongst each yeah. other or just even leave and have them do stuff and then yeah. you can come back and so you gotta have that that exact right structure down yeah but i do the same thing i get little, little bullet points and, and you, just so you know you're like this is what i want to hit but yeah you, you always want to feel like you're having a conversation still you do it's... you want feedback even though it's not actual feedback they're not talking to you but yeah oh yeah it's the fourth of july in the u.s huh? oh yeah happy independence day from your um england yeah we had our canada day was uh was the first three days ago yeah. first and second yeah both two days Did really you know that? no because when it falls on a sunday it's observed also on the Monday. Wow. So we got two Canada days this year. Take that, U.S. <laughs> Canada right. gets two days. <laughs> it's the only thing we've ever won over yeah. you guys. You yeah. guys got everything. You got military. You got yeah, all got the it. stars. We get two. You got free speech. Of July. Yeah, you got <laughs> We have almost free speech. We've got a, a, a prime minister that looks like a Harry Potter student <laughs> who, right. who, who doesn't do anything. <laughs> you, you guys got Donald Trump. Yeah. It's a crazy world we're in yeah, right now. Total opposite sides. But, but happy birthday, America. Yes, happy birthday. And I uh, um, hope you're enjoying the fireworks. Everybody. You had to fight to get independence, and we, uh, we played, played the long game. We, yeah, we <laughs> sort of, I don't even really know if we have it. We sort of We did. still got her on the money, but yeah, that's, that's like, a trade-off oh, you know, for monarchies. not fighting to get away. <laughs> 
Yeah. You know, she has no power, but she still has to sign papers for us once in a while. Yeah, it's you weird. know. It's weird. She does we have to sign off it. on the marijuana bill. <laughs> she does, she? does, yes. Oh, dude. That's going to be... I think, I think she she's does. be down, man. I'm pretty sure that the queen <laughs> is... At the, that's how she stayed to the ripe age of 90-something. That's, that's right. Yeah, yeah. She's... Just hanging in there. Her okay. Favorite, her favorite color is green. <laughs> that's all we'll say about that <laughs> that's right uh 81 almost should i get 99 uh I'll there stop feel, at 90. yeah there feels like something cool about that but then on the other hand yeah. we gotta move on at some point we do farming is i should stop shooting arrows i saw a video of just a hot dog eating contest in america that's happening <laughs> i just, heard there was one just, recently just shoveling hot dogs and that is it's painful crazy. to watch those things i don't know where they keep them all and i don't want to know what happens after oh yeah he's a <laughs> vegan i shouldn't even oh now the secret's out <laughs> <laughs> there's definitely no hot dog eating contests in oh your sure life. Just different hot dogs. Oh, that's a good point. The veggie hot dogs. I don't know if they'd be more filling or you could eat less of them or more <laughs> of them. I don't know. I don't know either. But yeah, you could still do it. I don't know if I'd want to eat more. Well, I want to eat zero of the other kind, but die. And I got to remember where we are. I think I know where we are. We'll figure <laughs> yes. it out. We'll figure it out. Okay. 89. I'll get Come one on, more. One more. And we'll move on. Come on, skeleton. This is what you tuned in for. Yeah. To watch James farm 90 arrows. 94. We're good. 94 arrows. Well, uh, we might as well do one more and get 99. Oh, dude. Nathan's hot dog eating contest every year of the 4th of July live on ESPN at noon Eastern. Wow. I didn't know that that's... that's Here we go. 99. 99. Perfect. Save that. Yep. For what that's worth. Uh, okay. Southern uh, Arena Foot. Southern USA. Louisiana. Uh, six drive hour, six hour drive to Houston. So you have the same, same distance as I have to go. Same deal, dude. Um, to Portland, and uh, I suppose is in central Pennsylvania. Shampoo's in Massachusetts. I have no clue where all these states. <laughs> There's fifty of them. I know the West Coast. I know Alaska. I know, <laughs> I know Hawaii, which is in the middle of the ocean. I know New York. I know Florida, Texas. Nevada, um, that's about it. Yeah. Yeah. We got it. We got to acknowledge Arena Foot has the best sentence of the day, which is Joey Chestnut. Joey Chestnut. Won the mustard belt again for just the 10th time out of 11 years. That is quite the sentence. If, if out of the, context, that means nothing. If there's a, if there's a dude who earned the, the mustard belt, it's man, it is Joey Chestnut. Definitely it, Joey Chestnut. Some, it, 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 totally deserves it just on his name alone. <laughs> they should watching. have just handed it to him it's like, as soon as he walks in. Chestnut. <laughs> Joey Chestnut. <laughs> <laughs> Pennsylvania and Massachusetts are east close, east coast, east coast close coast. to Canada, so northeast. Yeah. Oh wow! So, shampoos coming from northeast. Wow. wow to, wow. And that's, it's that's amazing to Portland. I mean, Portland's a great city. It's lots of fun. It's one of those things too, where like the U.S. has so many states. I mean, we don't have that many provinces, and, no. and really, there's only like. For them, the count. Plus, yeah, <laughs> it's everything else is like population. Quebec, like, Ontario, BC, Alberta. Alberta is like, yeah. they got oil. Yeah, they <laughs> do. We gotta, we gotta chill it with the Canadian jokes yeah. though, because <laughs> this is not our audience. We'll, we'll get back to grinding. Yes. <laughs> okay. Don't worry. Okay. Where the hell are we? Uh, go right, and we'll we'll find it. Yeah. Okay, blue door. I'm guessing that it's that this, one. This one. Almost for sure. Okay. So, uh, let's go up, and we'll find out. Um, okay, yeah, kill this guy, I know where we are. Yeah? We gotta kill this guy, and then... Ugh, oh, God. With arrows. That's why I have them. Perfect, okay, now we're gonna go... So we don't know the state of the switches right now, that's the issue. Yeah. Okay, we go to the right. Actually, we're pretty good now, we just gotta go, I know what's up, down. Okay. Then. Okay, and then we're gonna go to the left. Sorry, right. Oh god. Now we want to go down. Secret passage. Okay. We're going to go up after we kill this guy. This is where I think we ran out of arrows last time, so this was interesting. Oh, dude! We replenish 97. Great. Perfect. Stop. Now there's going to be a thing that's firing through, so. Okay. Yep. Okay, so go up. Yeah. 
Now kill the guys in this room. There. <laughs> That'll make it easier. And then this door should open on the left. Yes, okay, now there's a switch here, oh, he and this is our issue. Good, so hit that switch. Now do we want to hit yes, that Yes, we, we need to. Okay. Um, this was our issue last time. Great, and then you go to the right. Um, you know, you can kill this guy, but don't worry about killing all of them. We just need to go up, so... Yeah, just leave that guy alone. We'll yep. Go up. up. Yeah. Right. Now this switch has been up. I just go straight. I wouldn't kill Perfect. these guys. Perfect. Good. So um, we're in the right switch territory. That's right. Now. Um, okay. So, so. I went to the left. Should I have done that? Uh, yeah, that's fine. Now down. Down is a new area that we don't. Know oh, okay. About. So we went through a secret area. Okay. Now this is just nothing. But let's kill this guy. We'll find out if there's something here. And we should check out see if there's some secrets. These guys are easy because they're so pretty. Perfect. Oh, dude. Shield. Okay, now um, this is making sense because this room is like... And it opened up on the left, so that's a squiggle. And uh, that's... Enemy door. Enemy door, perfect. So Joey ate a record 74 hot dogs holy, in 10 minutes. Holy crap. So that's 7.4 hot dogs a minute. Oh my god. Which I can, you know, you can stuff them down, but digesting them and, like, wouldn't you just chew, 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 swallow? Like, you'd have to do that. You have to chop it into bits that you won't choke on and That's just right. swallow it. Chew, 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 swallow. But you have to eat the bun, too. Oh my it's god. It's not just hot dogs. Oh my god. I okay. feel like... So you got the shield in there? Uh, this put the shield down. I don't know which one of the thing is for the shield. Knife power up. Oh. Well, it looks like that. That. Okay, cool. Five thing. At the right spot? Yeah. Okay. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> okay, so we're going to check for secrets, which... It could be down or to the... It's probably not going to be to the... To the right. Oh, yeah. oh that's... I must have screwed something up. Sorry. <laughs> go up again. Let's... Sorry. Let's do a little quick little recap just to make sure. Okay, good. Uh, go up. Go to the right. I just want to, like, do a quick little backtrack. Go down real quick. I'm just curious if I... Uh, Oh, I'm making you dodge a lot of stuff. <laughs> These guys are insane. Ah. Oh my god. Okay, so no, there's nothing there. Okay, so that's I just screwed up with my mapping. Okay, cool. So let's go back. Uh, go down. Kill this guy again, and then and he'll open up a door. Perfect. Now let's see what's in this door. We can go to the left. Um, and I'm something tells me that it's just gonna be up. Is it gonna be the only way? Okay. I'm okay. pretty sure. And then we'll have finished this. Yeah, or there's nothing. Or I bet you this will be a secret door up top. Is it after, a after we kill we this guy? To? Yeah, there we go. Please be the pink key. Okay, no. you're just gonna check. I'll check out now, but I think this is just a pretty. It sucks when there's area. a one-way door, and it takes you way back. Oh god. Okay, so I think I think that's all of our stuff figured out because now this room to the left is our bat, like our tough okay. guy that we fought. To the right yep, is a secret door. Um, so we can just also, we can, do you have to kill him again if you fight him? Yep. Ugh. I do not want to do that. Nah, man. Go, so go to the right and we'll, was... just, we'll just go back. So then, um, go to the right again. Uh, go down. Go down. Uh, go down. Yeah. Go to the left. Go to the left. No, because this we're done with this space, and then if you go to the left again, we can get out of here. Were there too many rooms? No, this is totally fine. Like that way? No, it just seems like. <laughs> well, because the problem is, is this is it's all weird. good. The only, like, the only thing that's happening is that this door, yeah. we get we get teleported down. Okay. So everything else works. It's just they just fire you down here. So this is all blank. Like this okay. isn't, like none of this is, yeah, is real. Everything else is part of our equation if that makes sense because okay. this is the door with the key and then everything's working good now which we want to go to the left which will fire us through this okay yeah just be a one way yep and then we go to the left and then down and we're out of this dungeon okay and we're done it's good we checked it all out it we is. got some stuff back we died oh sorry we found which out way? about left uh left okay we died. We found out about uh, Joey Chestnut. Like, <laughs> we did. We went some on some adventures. adventures. This is the RPG. <laughs> Okay, okay and, then, and then we go down, and I think we're out. So yeah, we're gone. There we go. Let's save that. Okay, so... Oh, 
I'm very interested now in this area that you described. Yes. Uh, that you said that our uh, developer might have. Well, let's check this out first. Well, that's where we. Oh. No, because we that... did, we did this. I believe. Nope. Oh, we did. So that goes to that map. Say, okay. just call that. Just put an arrow up there. And say it goes to map two. And call that map two. Done. Cartography at its best. <laughs> so Joey shovels it in. Most of them dunk the hot dogs in water to get them down easier. I have seen that. Wow. So they also have water on top of the hot dogs and the hot dog buns. This feels like... 74 hot dogs, hot dog buns, and soaked in water. Like, that's like a mound. That's, like, that's just, just a terrifying... Do they wear diapers? Like, is it going out as Dude, it comes in? I don't in? think you're doing so well the next no. day. No, you think... have to take a week off. Joey to Chestnut is <laughs> having a tough night. <laughs> tough, tough, tough weekend after that. It's not celebrating oh, too no. much. So we're going to go to there. Cool. Because I think that's... I didn't find anything there, or I don't know what's going on there. So it's just down all the way down. Cool. All the way down, all the way across. Now you get to see all the all the That's other things cool. you never got to see. Hey. Some monkeys, monkeys that aren't in dungeons. As land bats. Or and we've got day some bats. trees. This is cool, cool stuff, man. I'm so on board with RPGs that because they don't need you don't need a crazy graphics. You just nope. need the simple stuff. Just gotta hang out and. Okay, so this one maybe is 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 where he said there might have been something missing. Yeah. Okay, so so I'm just gonna check. Upstairs. Yeah. As far as I know, it's and, just and a two room. And did you do something in this room already? Yeah, that's the thing. I think I like I've already played the game a lot, so there would have been something in there, but okay. I didn't note it at the time because I don't think I was okay. mapping it. So I have to restart the game later. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And go back in this room and remap it. Cool. I'm kidding. What's this area? That's just a. That's just a shield in water, so you can't get it right away. Okay. So you have to get the boots and then get the shield. Poor dude. I'll put you out of your misery. Gives us some help. Okay, so, so this area. Mm, there's also that. Let's try this out. Let's see what's up with that. Because that I didn't map properly, so it would be good to... It's not that big, so you can do it here. Okay. Let's do it. So let's just map it out. So let's go to the right all the way up. Or is it... You might be wiser to go to the left. I mean, there's boulders and stuff here. Yeah, I don't know. They're, they're easy. They're just boulders. Okay. That means there's no enemies. So, See, there was a, a shield, shield on right there. there. Always so you, came from... So you couldn't get that... Without the boots. Without the boots. There's another one. Boulder done. See? It's all Easy. one button. You don't have to switch between things. You just you automatically. Don't have to lay bombs. No, it's just like yeah. Of course you want to blow it up. There you go. And then keep going up to the left. Ah, those oh. are the worst. Those are some of the worst guys. And down a bit. Ah. Spider. Yeah, big fat spider. Let's check this so out. So that is that dungeon. So let me Anything check for here? secrets. Nothing. So it's just a wall on the left and the top. Okay, so it's open on the top. Um, Closed on the right. Uh, it opened up a passage when oh, I cool. killed him. So yeah, we got our triangle room. wave. Our, yeah, okay, good. This room again. <laughs> yeah, they recycled it. I can call those spikes. That feels like spikes. Yeah, moving spikes. Cool room, though. Very cool. And nothing down there. Nothing. Ugh. Knew I would get it. Ah! Knew I would get it there. So it's uh, closed on the top and bottom, and open on the right. Defeated a guy, and a... Squiggle on the top, and I'll check the right and bottom. I'm gonna check the right. There's nothing. Oh, uh, 
I'd say that's just open. Cool. And there's one up top, too, for the last one. I think eh? I'll go there first. Let's see what's up here. Yeah, good idea. Ah! Ah! Whoa. Whoa. Ah. So, closed on the right. And we'll go up. We're running out of room. Yeah, that's okay, though. Ooh, this is bigger than I mapped. So, may want to just make that a whole other dungeon. Remap it on the... Can we give you some time? I'll give you some time. To re restart it there. Hello, Atari. How you doing? We haven't had any cat visits. Come on. Come on up here. No, you're a floor cat today. <clears throat> Give me a sec. I'm going to do this really So we're just uh, remapping because we ran out of room. And I definitely did not explore this whole dungeon last time. Good. This so, is maybe a good culprit. Yeah, it's, but it's the last place for the last key to get the pink key. Oof, 8.30 already. Hey, man. When you're exploring and you're <laughs> grinding. Yeah. I wonder if the last... I bet the last dungeon is just him. I bet you... I bet that's I've got, the case, too. Uh, after I get the pink key, I've got all the keys, all the power-ups. And it would just be him at the end. So I'll just do a final grind and go in. That's right. We'll see what happens, though. Yeah. Okay. okay. Good. Going up. Ooh. Ah! That was not fair at all. Just warped right on top of me. Okay. But he gave me health, so it's a trade. Good trade off. Still good on health, still good on. Yep, there's a kitty. But he didn't want to make an appearance. Maybe he'll come up here. It's very uh it's very melted. Yeah. It's a little bit hot today. Yeah, it's been brutal. We're under lights and <laughs> <laughs> got a fan going, but I don't know if it's reaching you. Maybe I'll put it there. Oh, it's all good. Okay. There we go. So we're going left. Oh, bat right off the bat. <laughs> Come on, bat. Come on. Stop following him around and anticipate him. There we go. So it's no secret on the top or the bottom. And we're going left. Oh, another spike. Oh, and I was helping out with um, an Intellivision game today, actually. Oh, really? Uh, work in progress, because I do want to get uh, branch out into Coleco and Intellivision makes sense. Um, homebrews as well. Um, but I don't have a modified Coleco or Intellivision for the highest output. I need to make them both RGB. But I have contacted the guy who does the RGB outputs for Intellivision, and he is a couple weeks away from making some new ones cool. so that's in the process so we're gonna go left yeah oh it's nice slow moving dude we got ourselves a pink door is he gonna shoot me no. and i have a pinky um, or is that the last thing i need i think you have a purple key Let's find out, because you got one that's like... Ah, uh, you know what? This is the dungeon where I get the pink key, because there's a pink door in here, and that'll be the d the way out. So I labeled that with pink, and that was a squiggly on the left. Perfect. Pink. Yeah. Did you try it? See if you can do it? I oh, don't I think can't. You can. no. Good. Yeah. Okay. So beyond this is going to be a boss where I get a key, or okay, just a key. Good. Let's find out. Yep. Oh, God. It's a... This is a good time to have 93 arrows. Oh, yeah. Ugh. This is a... Better oh, you. this is... My joystick's dying. Better you than me. Oh, my God. Dude, okay. okay. So you can put a little wing... Uh, well, put the key. That, that guy wasn't too hard. So I would just um, put the bat. Key. Yeah, put a bat and the, key, and the key. So make sure there's room for pink, a bat... And a key. And we have done it. All six keys. And we're ready to face our demons. Let's do it. But we're going to map out the rest of this. That's right. Because Arena Foot needs it. Yeah, my 
It's getting, it's getting, it's getting squishy. Maybe it's just me. It's just when you're in the middle of a boss fight, of course. <laughs> yeah. This yeah, is how the world works. Okay, so now we have the key, so we're going to go through that pink door. Okay. Oh, and another pink door. Oh, very let's, interesting. Let's try the left and right. So yeah. See. We'll go right first. And it's two dudes, but I will have to kill them. Took a hit. That's okay. So, on to the final boss, Arena Foot. And we're doing the map for you for your book three or four, whatever this is going to be. That's in. right, man. So you don't have to do it. <laughs> That's right. Um, and I'll, cl I'll clean up this map and put it all in one big, huge paper and make it nice. Oh, it's a boss. An easy one. I oh, a shield. Okay. Perfect. And Perfect. so that's. believe that's right and then got the shield shield good and i think it opened up the, yeah, the bottom. bottom and then the, the the one on the the right yeah yeah that well. makes sense okay no i think the right was already i think open. it was already open okay so i got the shield let's pop over to the right see what's up there i think it should connect to this room okay um okay so i'll draw that in ah. which is open on the top bottom and left cool um, I think I, uh, I might have messed up. We'll see. Pop out of here. Pop out of here. No, I didn't. I didn't miss. You didn't? Oh, I just, you, I, you just jumped through. Yeah, yeah, I just didn't put in a room. Oh. Because I just didn't see you. You just ran okay. through it too quickly. So that shield is, should be over to the right which one Which is more. all good. It happens. And then this one. Cross out that shield. Yeah, and then this room, can we pop back into it real quick? I just check it out. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay, no problem. Good. No problem. Good, good, good. This all makes sense. And pink on the bottom as well. You yeah. label. Just put pink in the middle of the room and draw the two. Doors. Perfect. Is there a door here? Uh, Let's check that out. Go to. I this thought might I be saw a one, one way. I thought I saw one because we've already been in this room. No. No, we have not. So that was. We'll have to defeat this guy before okay, it's oh, just it just a, opens up. It's just a blank room. Good. Okay, that's yeah. good. Now we can choose to go... Okay, now go to the right and uh, keep going. And then I think uh, we can go down. I'm mm. curious what this is like. Oh, oh I have to start over. That's, that's the problem when you exit a room. You do have to start over. Let's go down. We'll see what's, what's, what it's like. Going on. Okay, now this is just... That's a one way. Oh, and it opens up to the left. Okay, cool. When you defeat the enemies. Yes, this is impressive. Different style than the game Dragon Stomper, but just as impressive? Really? Dragon Stomper must be pretty damn good then. Like, this is really huge map. I don't know how many yeah. rooms, but it's like... It's proper, man. Like, f probably 20 by 20. It's really, really big. Or 20 by 16. Okay, you ready? Yep. That's a. I'm gonna have to redo that. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's, it's okay. It's just I don't have the graph paper. Oh, nothing in there. It was just an empty. Big old empty room. Can you guys see the cat? You can kind of see the cat. <laughs> <laughs> the foot of the cat. In the uh, in the webcam in the Atari cam. The yeah, Atari's let's go down and cam? see what's what's up when we go down. And I'll redraw this for you, man, so you okay. know what's going on. That's a good idea. Um, okay, cool. And the only one I'm interested in is what the left looks like. So this, we already been in this one? Yeah, we've already okay. been in this one. I'm curious what the left looks like. Okay. So it's a bat. There's nothing. There's an opening on the bottom, but we'll see what happens after I kill the bat. Ah, die. Oh, it opens up. Hey, I can just keep that open, I guess. Or... I'd go back. Let's go to the right, and we'll see. Because I think that this is... Um, it just came from there. Relatively. Yeah, because I'd like to see what this pink door is. I think everything else is done. Oh, I have to go down first. Oh, you can go down, but I think down is oh. back to here. Oh, is that a miss? Oh, it just opens. It is an open door. Okay. So go right. Without dying. 
Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, we need to go to the other pink door, which is up. Yeah. And then... Oh, actually, no, this is a one way, so go to the right. Okay. Now go up. Okay. Now go up. Okay. Now go up. Yeah. Go to the left. Okay. Now go to the left. Okay. Go to the left. Okay. Obviously, this is a dungeon exploration, real-time combat. Dragon Stomp is a turn-based RPG with an action menu. Oh, cool. Yeah, there's another one called Dungeon, which is a turn-based RPG with an action menu as well, yeah. which may be closer to that. That's an, also a homebrew. Okay. Okay, now we go pink door down. Let's ah, your, oh, God. That's okay. And then I'm just curious what underneath what this pink door is like. Well, yeah, because we haven't gone there yet. Okay, cool. Ooh, and a yellow door. Or oh, a gold. Interesting. Okay, so the one on the right should just be a one way, I think. Um, so the one on the top was a one way. So you want to put an arrow through that pink door. So you, going got the, to... you got the yellow key? Uh, yes. Which way should I go? Left? Let's try left. I think left should be. Oh, interesting. My guess is up top is going to be a one-way. Check out the left. I'd be surprised if there's anything, but... Yeah. Up is... Uh... Should be a one-way, I bet. Ooh, so I don't want to go that way. You can try it and see. It's not going to do screw up at all, actually. No? Because you cause you're go just end up here, I think. Yeah. And okay. then you kill this guy and then go to the... Right. And then a pink again. Okay. You go down, and now, um... Uh, Anything unexplored yet, or...? Uh, I mean, I'm thinking this will just pop us into this room, which we've already been to, so I would right. go down just instead. Okay. Oh, we'll see. I think that uh, the one to the left could be interesting. The one to the bottom is going to be a one-way and send us straight to the entrance, I believe. Mm. Oh. 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 At least I've got lots of health. There we go. So, nothing on the right. Should go r left first? Yeah, see what's up in there. I, I really don't think there'll be anything. Probably a bonus. Nothing. Oh, interesting. Okay, cool. We'll see what's uh, down. I'll check these. Got, not going to be anything. It's also a homebrew text adventure called Dark Mage. I did see that at Portland Retro Gaming Expo two years ago. Three? Two years ago. It was, uh, uh, I don't think I would have got into it too much. It was, in, it was different. <laughs> a text adventure on the 2600, if you can imagine. And then let's go to the right and we'll see. I bet you that's a one way. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. With your now mind. this is the entrance. So we're done. Every... That actually works nicely. As yeah, got maybe the show them the, show them the This is map. not beautiful, <laughs> but this is our little map. That we, that we just constructed. Excellent. I gotta tilt the other way. Oh, let's go full screen one second. There you go. Yeah, it's a bit of a... It's a bit of a mess, but we got it. But that's gonna... how my original map was, too. This is uh, what map two looks like when I had graph paper. Much nicer. <laughs> much, much nicer. <laughs> yeah. When there's actually the grid and stuff. But we'll transcribe all this stuff. We'll get so something. make that map three and label it, and we'll make a little arrow to map three. Which right is there. On there. Okay, now we fight the big boss. Yeah, let's We've find We've got it. all the power-ups. Actually, I'll go exit. How do we get out? That's all you got to yeah. do. I'm okay. going to use the bathroom before you... Okay. There we go. There's the you should get some health, too. Oh, yeah, I'll do some farming. Do some... Let's go this way. Ow. <laughs> Said he put... You put Magellan to shame. Oh, we've got 99 arrows. Oh, I only need... Ah, ah. Need to go where there's just the monkeys. Monkeys are so slow, but there's like one place where there's like just two slow monkeys. Or one... This is the place. This is the place. This is... Poor little blob dude. Gets slaughtered every time. 
He's so slow, but gives exactly the same rewards as everyone else. So why not fight the easiest monster in the whole game if he gives you the exact same pickups as everything else? I don't need any arrows. Can't go beyond 99, not even in the menu. Oh, I need health. Come on. Come on, health. Not much. Just a little bit. One more health and we're ready to rock. Cool. Um, Lord Monkus says you uh, put Magellan to shame. Who's Magellan? He's a, an explorer um, from the something hundreds. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Uh, who sailed uh, the world and obviously was a cartographer mapping out areas of the world that nobody had sailed before. In your face, Magellan. <laughs> Just all I need is graph paper and, yep. and, and, a, and a pen. <laughs> uh, slow walking through the water and fire. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to go up to the main big bad guy's house and then we will save. So we'll have it there in case we ever need we die horribly. Yeah, just keep going up. Keep going up. There you go. And then any everybody else can play as well. <laughs> if they... Oh, I hate that. Those guys are tough. Yeah, you can kind of, like, skirt around. By, like, popping by going in and pop, out pop, of... Pop. Yeah. yeah. So there we are. There's the code. Everyone wants to... Actually, I want to check this screen. And this is where we are. Here's the map. There we go. Gosh, that looks so dark. Is auto? We're right there. i got to check something. Auto exposure. Oh, it's not auto. Okay, just saw all the white on there. That's yeah. Cool. It's like, see, oh, see too again? much white. Too this much is white. the last bit. Oh. Right up at the top left, that little door there, that is where we're going into. So... You will need to start a new map area. Map four. Four. Good. You have an empty spot on somewhere? It's going to be maybe big, maybe small. Oh, I started it here already. Oh, good. Perfect. Okay. So. Hopefully there's enough room. Oh, okay. So we got back our screen. Switch back to the game. And it's time. It's time you ready? to defeat what is it? Goblin King, <laughs> who's ravaged our land for long enough. We've gone on a quest. We've left the village. We've yep. met the wise old man. We've encountered <laughs> the, 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 the goddess sword. of unconditional love. We've gone through, We've you know, the Cambellian adventures. It's time for the final right. fight. We've got the sword. We've got the bow. We've got the <laughs> ring. We've got the boots. We've, we've got, got all key the keys. That's right. Let's see if we're missing anything. No, we've got all the ring of attack. We've got dynamite, mm -hmm. winged boots, we've lantern, done. defense power-ups, attack power-ups, arrows, arrows, bow and arrow. Uh, I, I prefer to call that a cherry, but it's meat. it's meat. We're not just level <laughs> 7. We're not level 8. We're, not, we're level 11. That's right. The maximum the level. 40 point. health. <laughs> yep, 40 health. Full arrows. This is Fully the third act. Out. All six keys. That's right. It's the third this is act. The dark night of the soul. We're entering into the, <laughs> <laughs> the Goblin King. That's right. So we've already mapped out the first two rooms to the pink door. That's right. And there's, there's, a, there's an, a dragon. There's no reason is... to actually fight that guy. This is, okay. This, this might not be the Goblin King. This no. might just be a guy. <laughs> this guy is, is terrible to fight, though. He's tough. This is just a. We're, we're getting hype. Okay, we okay, okay. Yeah, he is one of their guards. There's always minions, tough minions before the big boss. Oh, right? okay. Always. Okay, this Every might video be again. the... This is, might be the big boss. It might be one more tough guy. Maybe the bat. Maybe he'll throw all the big ones at It'll us. It'll just be everyone at once. Okay, now it's just... Okay, so this is purple. Purple door. Still. So that's interesting. I guess this this makes sense though because if this, is the, the keys. this is the final level, you need all the keys to get all the stuff. Yeah, because you have, if you got the pink key first, sure you'd get through the first door. That's right. But so now, it's going to be a door, a boss, a, a door, door, a boss. boss. Oh. These are the trials. They are. <laughs> this is the gauntlet. <laughs> it is. It is. There it is. This is the gauntlet. So we've encountered all of the the, the, the projections of our unconscious <laughs> evils from the past. <laughs> 
So we've had practice on all these bosses before, which makes sense. And now we have to fight them for reals. Ugh, that was terrible. Oh! This is where full health, this is where your level 11 skills. That's right, come into place. Yeah, this bat is terrible. It's the hardest, this is, hardest guy. You got like 87. Oh, dude, okay. Okay. <sighs> now I'm guessing there's going to be a key door. We'll see, we'll see. Yes, yep, okay. as predicted. Blue. Yep. Or teal? Let's say teal. teal. That's a teal Let's one. Let's say teal. <clears throat> And this is cool because it appears as though you can't go back, right? Because if you go I don't back, don't want to go back. If you go back, I bet you get to refight them all. D is it a closed off room when you enter in? Pretty much, yeah. yeah. I'm guessing that if you went backwards, it's the no, same. it's not closed off. This guy's not too bad. He's about as it's a little bit less harder, not quite as hard as the bat, because this guy doesn't come down. But he has the same projectiles as the bat. Ugh, come on. Fire it. But it's annoying. Ah! Oh. oh, and to fire the bow, you have to face in the direction and then hold down. So when you're moving around dodging, you're facing in the wrong direction sometimes. Because you have to press up and then fire. Oh, and don't exit. Oh, my God. Yeah, I can see he's speeding up. He thinks so. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he just jumped. He just jumped speed. That's... Not a threat. Not a threat. Yeah, it's not a big deal. Ah. It's just... Okay. And you got some meat. Okay, that's good. Good. That's what I needed. At least drop something. So oh, I'm seeing there's the a left. pattern to this. Cool. Oh, nothing. Hmm. Okay. Nothing at all. Open. That's that's a change. Okay. Uh, one, two, Whoa, three. Whoa, this is the boss for sure. Oh, my God. Did you map out that last room? Yeah, I did. Okay, oh. this is... Oh, you've hit him right in the middle. So I hit him to the side. He's not doing anything. That's not very hard. I'm, 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 I bet he gets harder. Well, you shouldn't have said that. That's the worst thing you can say. I know. Say. Well, like, that's just isn't hard. So far, it's not. Ah, he's just so huge. Uh, I have to stay to the whatever side he's not on. Oh, I shouldn't have gone. Wow. That can I hit him anywhere? No. No, he's got to be in that spot. Got to be in yeah, this main body. I think, no. I think this is a this is a level that you gotta kind of need those arrows for, man. Oh, it's when he flashes. That's why. Okay, I'm gonna go to the left here. Because so I think I just coincidentally hit him before. No, it seems to be the same. No, it's when he's at the top. He's just such a big boss wow. that my arrows just happen to be in him. when they were hitting. Ugh. Wow. That's a lot of... So you have to delay. Maybe, he's not, the... maybe he's not the big boss. Okay, so hold on, hold on. We got another room that you just killed. Let's yeah. find out what's in this room. We can put the bosses. Okay. The mini bosses. Oh. Just so we know. Hit him when he's yellow, yes. Suit and air figured that out i i seem to be doing re get getting really lucky at first yeah. hitting him every time okay okay well that was definitely not the boss unless this is a reward oh oh okay throne room maybe okay this looks like the final approach doesn't mm -hmm. it look like that hey that was the big boss that guy was easier i think than the bat <laughs> I'm just... or even the i think i got lucky so won the game anguna another game down in my arsenal of finished games panky the panda i finished and what else did i finish the final map right there look at that up at the top, that's where we are. We're in that room with the check mark smiley face. Pentagon. I didn't mean it to be a pentagon. I was just trying to do a star. It's a star. I felt like a star would be <laughs> would be the way to go. There we go. Anguna is finished. Thank you for hanging in there during this stuck out time. right till the end. And it is 8:54 wow. Pacific time. Put it in the two-hour time. 
Thank you, I suppose to thank you, Sudanator and Arena Foot and Lord Monkus, Monkus for hanging in. And happy Fourth of July yeah, to you all. It's thank a great you celebration. Spending your Fourth of July with us, playing some yeah. fun video games, man. It's a, it's amazing. Yeah, it's it's. Thank you for choosing us. I appreciate over it. the parties. <laughs> did you get the Did you get the next day off? Did they I get hope the next so. day off, or is it just today? We'll see. I know the U.S. is pretty so stingy us, with let, holidays. Let us know in the chat. <laughs> We're Canadian. We don't yeah, know. we don't know. I know you have today off. That's for sure. Yeah, because that's sure. a holiday. No, they wouldn't have the next day off. No, because everyone's... Like what's, our July 1st, we don't get the next day off to recover. Joey go Chestnut, gonna, yeah. gonna like, he's got to sleep in after his 74 hot what's, dogs. What's he going to do, right? <laughs> um, so I have some great... Lord Monkus um, is Canadian as well. Oh, yes. another Canadian tuning in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, I have some great shows coming up, actually. Really, really, really exciting big shows. Ooh. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, next episode is on f actually Saturday. Is this? No, 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 it's Friday. It's totally fine. It's ne the ex next week after one. Yeah, just today. That We figured that out it's using our brain power eventually. I, like, yeah, thanks, I have to get man. the day off. Oh, Arena Fight had work today, double what time. time. Does it mean you so got, you got paid? You got paid and you got to watch this. <laughs> this so, is you know it's, this it's, is the right, best man. reward that's ever. a three for one deal <laughs> yeah the holiday you got paid it's good and stuff you got to watch foot. the the ending of anguna correct um so on the friday um which you can come for if you are available we've got three games i'll have to see what's going on we'll go it's friday is it this friday can. yeah I'm not. I'm gonna be. I'm hiking the chief uh, this Friday, okay. unfortunately. So we won't be doing it at two. We'll be doing it at seven then. So, <laughs> so Tanya can be here for it because she works. Sounds unlike good. me. It's just a bum. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, we'll be playing Balloon Trip, which is a brand new uh, work in progress game um, that I've been, you know, playing back and forth with the developer and given, given helpful like, oh, put this in the game, put this in the game. Yeah. But it's fun uh ball blazer as well uh actually four games oh my wow. god wow okay balloon trip up uh ball blazer 2600 uh and crazy balloon um so two works in progress two cartridges um ball blazer is like an amazing looking game it never got finished there's a whole story to that um and then on the next wednesday we have an exclusive game, Ooh. Aardvark. I might be able Working. to make it on the Wednesday if can you, you want. You yeah, so? I can. Awesome. Wednesdays are good for me. Oh, that's great. Um, yeah, we have an exclusive release just for this show of Aardvark. Um, this one may or may not be released ever except wow. on cartridge because it's that close to being done so this is this is the kind of uh exclusive content <laughs> that's right that you that, get to expect uh, that, what, what's, what's this zero called page zero page <laughs> that's right that's what you come to expect here is exclusive that's right it's... yeah straight from the developer <laughs> we've got aardvark work in progress update oh my god it looks perfect it looks so good i think he's post he has posted pictures so you've seen the pictures now come back for the video um and we've got avalanche work in progress and that is an avalanche is that it yeah avalanche that's an old game and but has not been finished and also frantic which is an old game which also has not been finished oh. but he may be working on it again it's uh daryl spice jr um and then on the saturday after i don't know if you can come for that how your saturdays are we'll see because we'll friday i'm doing the mixing for our movie oh wow yeah the final mixing and then we yes. put all the pieces together after that <laughs> it's awesome uh no no rom because it's like it's like almost the finished game i think um so he probably won't be releasing a rom i don't know it's up to him um he may be releasing a rom after the get after we play it but it's like a couple Champs, E-A, or W-W? E-A. E-A? What does that stand for? <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know what W-W is. Or 
EA stands for? I know what CHAMP stands for. Uh, I'm talking about Avalanche? Frantic will be do redone with the CDF coprocessor. Yes, that's what I thought. He's probably he's going to be re-updating the whole yeah. thing. Uh, Frantic is a Berserk um, port and great graphics, even on the on the work in progress that was like, it's 10 years old now or something. Um, and then we're going to be doing uh, on the Saturday is all the games that didn't get enough love the first time around. Oh, yeah. So far, we've got Pickle, Dragon Racer, and Road Duel. And Road Duel is programmed by a legally blind programmer. Really? Yes. And I was talking with him on um, on Facebook wow. the past couple days. And uh, really interesting background and story with him. So that'll be an interesting look at that. Um, and then on the 18th, these are all in the Atari Age forums, which were, which were down last uh last night wow man. and he got them um al got them back up and going this morning which was awesome on the fourth of july he put some work in wow then we'll be doing a full playthrough of a star on the 18th <laughs> and then on the 20th i've got them planned out forever uh, on the 20th we're going to be playing ram games wow these are 128 bytes or less these games they fit in the ram all of them into the RAM of the Atari 2600. That is insane. So without a cartridge, they all fit in memory. 128 bytes. Not kilobytes, not megabytes, bytes. Like, you can look at a, a little chart like this and see the whole game. It's, it's we've, crazy. Uh, we got a request of uh, my pancake that didn't Where make the Where cut. is my pancake? No, I think it will. I think Where's My Pancake did. Uh, we'll make the cut. I haven't fully fleshed it all out yeah where's my pancake probably will because it didn't get a lot of attention and and our uh and our one of our our, our viewers yes has requested it so it sounds like something yes. that you want to i will put that one in there. <laughs> i will have to i don't know if a rom got i'm, I'm on your side i suppose <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm working it from this angle man you can't <laughs> <laughs> champs ea or ww oh are you talking about ball blazer no, no, no. We'll find out. No, it's uh, it's an old, it's the old ball blazer one. Uh, if you're talking about that, um, and then we have Draconian. We're gonna be playing for high scores on that game. That's, that's gonna be a lot of fun. That's like at the end of July, because that's when it ends, and I want to sneak in. Because if I, last time I I played the games at the beginning of the month, and then everybody just beat me, so I like a bar. To be able to <laughs> shoot for rather than yeah i got high score and then dunk, 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 while i'm doing other things makes sense and then somewhere in there we're going to do a bonus stream when the retron 77 arrives at my doorstep that's wow. the brand new atari 2600 emulator hardware where you can put in cartridges that's and we're going to be, be doing that the day i get it the day it arrives at my door i don't know exactly when that's going to be but i'm going to play it as soon as i get it um, so watch out for last minute, um, playthroughs, last minute updates on all my social media. So make sure you sign up for all the Instagram and Facebook and make sure you click like on the Twitch stream as well so that it will alert you. Um, and, uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Lots of things coming up. Lots of fun things. That sounds great. Yeah. Never know if some if something something those some of those might get bumped, but probably not. When are you doing champ games that you can't say? Oh, oh, that one. <laughs> oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, champ games that I can't say. <laughs> Good memory. Um, I don't know. Uh, he'll have to tell me when he's gonna send it to me. I think he's really, really close to finishing. The game i can't say <laughs> i see i, I don't see. want to give away anything hey, i'm in the dark completely i'm just it, yeah cause... i'm just the cartographer guys that's all <laughs> <laughs> if he had announced it publicly i'd be able to say the name of the game but i can't say it yet yep and i suppose it's getting a ready retron 77 said it shipped yep they have said it shipped mm. so it's coming it's on its way through the mail uh defend your castle too oh defend your castle i did see that one 
I'll have to look back and write these down afterwards. Yeah, you're getting some good requests. Yeah. And a lot of these really simple games that they're requesting, the overlooked ones, are, are fairly simplistic and and basic, I've noticed. Yeah, I like one can... screen type things. But maybe I really haven't given them a fair shot. Yeah, maybe and that's... also maybe you can do a bunch of them in a show and you don't yeah. have you don't have to spend like, you know, the whole time. You can just jump yep. in and boom, boom, boom. Check and maybe out. they people had the same assumption I did when mm -hmm. I looked at it and went, uh, oh, uh, that game's not anything good it's like never but once you start a book by the cover right never That's the thing. like when i first saw it, saw anguna um like screenshots of it i thought it was just going from room to room randomly fighting things and just open another door and go to the next yeah, room no. but no 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 this was an amazing game actually let's do a wrap-up of anguna yeah, yeah yeah highly highly recommended oh my god um how long did this take um I guess two. Oh, well, the first six hours is it sound right? Because the well, the first episode was with a bunch of other games, but we did spend a lot of time on it. Maybe an hour the first episode, maybe two, maybe two and a half. Let's just say two, and then, and then another two. two. So five hours. Of... Five hours messing around doing maps and stuff too. So if you have a really good memory, you could maybe do it in three or four, and you, and you've watched this, and you yeah. know what's going on. Um, but if you're taking your time doing the maps, maybe four to six, five to six, something like that. Um, oh, I supposed to help him and he's not sure what game it is. Oh, Ooh. okay. You probably do. I'm probably just making this a big mystery. Just hyping <laughs> some hyping hyping it up. the mystery, dude. But yes, good. as soon as I get that game, I'm, I either may bump a show or maybe a bonus show, depending on how those things, because I've told some of these people that your game is going to be played on this date and then i'd have to like tell them all again oh and i'm gonna it be... all around i don't like doing that yeah. they've they probably maybe even done like booked a day off work or something probably not but <laughs> yeah you, you <laughs> some people know. might i don't i don't want to let's get the do key that. to the schedule you know it That's is the thing yeah so i may like be able to do a bonus one but give like a two days notice or something or a day's notice um enough that people can jump in um, but yeah, there's the end screen of Anguna again. Oh, let's just put that up. Beautiful. I love that. Wonder if we press a button. What love happened? the colors. No, no, it's you're just, done. We Can just you move around. No, you're done. No. It's just beautiful. And it's the cool thing is, is it's cycling through all the colors, which is yes. like all the keys that we. That's uh, right. That all the different unlocked. Which beautiful is keys. Neat. So yeah, and it's, it's, it's way more complex than I thought. Way bigger map than I thought. It's huge. And to beat the game, you only need the pink, purple, and teal key, technically. <laughs> Sorry, Actually, um... Uh, <laughs> probably to get those keys, keys, you need the other keys. You need the other uh, keys. Makes I'm sense. sure he did that. Oh, makes like, complete like sense. Like, if we look back on the map and map it out, it's like, oh, to get through that door, you have to get that key. Yeah. This and, is... and you have to get a lantern to get in some dungeons, and the Ooh. lantern's in some dungeon. And it is probably well laid out. Because he I could betcha. just flip, flip colors. A smart design, man. Very smart. That's smart. So, I was uh, big props to uh, Nathan Tolbert, or, or Tolbert, if you want to anglicize yeah, it. Yeah, depending on. <laughs> I was only here for round three, but yeah, that's pretty, this is it pretty gave you cool. a great overview of you because you went in. Back, we went back in dungeons that I had already to gone sort of through. Tra trace it through, and and it, um, when I compare it to Zelda, I almost take it back a little bit. This feels like its own thing, you know. It definitely is along the same lines of it's a dungeon crawler for sure. Yeah. But there is this feeling of like we don't know where we're going next. We gotta we gotta no kind of map all this stuff. And I like I like the fact that we got ourselves a little bit of mapping. We gotta do. We gotta kind of yeah. have our our thing, and it's, it's not, not so easy. simple. Because no. games these days are telling you Hand everything. Holding, you can't die. It has auto mapping everything's done for you you die you just move back a spot or whatever maybe you lose something but it's not a big deal and there's some farming involved but it's not ridiculous there's enough no. mechanics to make you feel like you I'm sure you need all those upgrades to win yeah. you definitely need all those arrows it seems yeah. like a cool game yeah it wasn't simple it wasn't straightforward but it wasn't hard that so hard that you're like oh my god this is annoying this is too hard but I did die like multiple times. Yeah, and I like think... I died this time, and I didn't think I would die this time because oh no, I got this down. And this which, is definitely which... a two-player game too, which is fun having yeah, someone next you to, to you. Look kinda... at the map, and it made it much easier. Like a navigator, like in the rally cars, yeah. like left, right, right. go okay, straight. Okay, screw right. it up. Oh no, my map <laughs> is it me? Is it the map? <laughs> yeah. 
yeah. Um, yeah, and the the save feature, very cool. Um, I think you'll be able to fit the map in the book. Let's see the maps again. Let's show. Let's show these. These are our... So there's like the main map, which is the overworld. Which is kind of like this is our... Let me tilt. Sorry. There we go. And then it does extend vertically some more with this one. So it would go on top. Yeah, so if you kind of look... It would be more vertical. It would be a, quite a square. Because yeah. this bit here leads to that. Yeah. And, and then, so it's quite high. And then this bit here leads to the other side and yeah. then oh. and then this bit here leads to that so yeah. it's kind of you got to kind of probably <laughs> two pages will work maybe two pages like separate the 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 top dungeons onto a second page but see the nice thing about it is that um the oh. only extensions it's kind of like we have uh one two three so we yeah. just need a page on top and we're good yeah so i think that would be no problem fitting it into the book Maybe I can do a guest review for you. <laughs> um, so I think that is it for this week. Uh, thanks for tuning in once again and enjoying the content. There is an edited video on the YouTube channel if you missed that. It's the review of Arena Foot's book, cool. uh, the Atari 2600 Homebrew Companion Volume 1. And just announced today, Volume 2 is on its way oh coming Rena. out coming out this week yeah so he's a he's a madman and he's already got plans for other offshoot books i think it was a sports one no it wasn't a sports one i can't remember what it was he can um he can fill it in yeah four pages because it'll get, be really tiny Makes like sense. imagine imagine this the map fitting oh, onto yeah. this like it would have to be you'd have to put it like horizontal yeah you might be able to get away with two pages but they'd be running horizontally potentially but you it could but uh but no it's gonna be uh it's definitely gonna be a thing yeah um oh and the, and the second book i review is estella's programmer's guide um by steve wright arranged by dion olsthorn who is known as dionoid who pops in here from time to time and also in the forums as well and his game is Amoeba Jump, which is awesome. Yeah, I played it. Still like in that. progress. So we'll probably do an update on that game when he adds a lot more things in. Yeah. So he's just at that point where he's going to add in a bunch more stuff, like probably enemies and things. He's got a Sounds like huge fun. list I gave him of ideas to put in. So hopefully that'll come. So thank you for tuning in. Um, we'll see you on in two days on Friday when we will be playing a whole bunch of games one two three four games we have not played before on the show two balloon games can you imagine that and i'll see you next wednesday when, yep. I, when I pop by awesome bye bye thanks for tuning in